two rebels can fix it. Welcome. Today I got a little box for you. And as always, it's very package design tidy and neat. Look at that artwork. But don't use it as pry bar or chisel and please wear approved safety goggles and gloves. Clearly meant for two rabbits, Vera. Who doesn't like wearing unnecessary gear while turning a screw? Ooh, I like those emblems on that pouch. But let's have a look at the goodies beforehand. There's a tattoo for your toolbox. That looks pretty. And some sort of a quick guide. Wir beglückwünschen Sie zum Kauf des Zyklop Mini. Der Zyklop Mini bietet Ihnen eine Reihe von Anwendungsvorteilen. Um alle Vorteile des Zyklop Mini zu nutzen, lesen Sie bitte die folgenden kurzen Hinweise. Translation. Congratulations on purchasing a Zyklop Mini. The Vera Zyklop Mini offers you a range of practical benefits. Please read the following brief user guide to enjoy all the advantages the Zyklop Mini has to offer. Yeah, just press pause if you want to read it. I'm not sure why I'm staring at those three ratchets for so long. Anyhow, let's have a look at that pouch. I absolutely like its form factor. It surely will fit in any tricot you have and I love that they added two loops for CO2 cartridges. Man, it feels high quality already. Let's have a look inside. Everything feels neatly organized. I am glad they've put most things in a pouch rather than organizing everything. This way you can add specialty gear or your car keys. First thing shown is a hook for holding your chain, by the way. Nothing to write home about, but gets the job done, I guess. The chain tool, on the other hand, dang, so minute with a lovely matte finish. I really dig that and it seems to be well thought out. You get one hex to turn the screw for the pin movement and another hex to use a bit holder as a handle. Did I already mention it's nicely done finish? and the embossed Vera logo gives it a high quality feeling. So far my favorite tool of this set. Next are those two tire jacks. They sparkle so nicely that I won't doubt a high glass fiber content of those. Expensive to make as the molds wear out quicker. The only difference between these two will be that one has a valve ejector and the other one a bit holder. Normally, I dislike their unnecessary addendum of their logo on their tools that are not handle shaped. It just feels weird and bothersome. But in this case I turn a blind eye to it as it has a function. Next thing in this pouch is Vera's cute and minute bit holder. I get father-like feelings for it as this feels like holding a baby. Everything on it feels just Vera-like. Handle geometry, engraving, finish. Nothing there for me to add, really. A 
And we have a small leather pouch that is not listed as a tool at the website, but mentioned in the description of the tool bag. It is meant for your ID or other cards, but I have a different suggestion. If you have the tools to mount a tire, maybe you should also add some patches. That was all on the pouch. Now let's have a look at these neatly organized bits. Included are hex bits from 2 to 8 mm, a Torx 10 and a Torx 25. I'm not sure why they tube shrunk colorful labels on the smaller bits. I'd prefer to have only those lovely laser engravings, but I'm sure they hold up. Of course, there's also a Philips size 2 included. Yeah, you kinda need always one of those, I guess. And of course, every hex bit has the hex plus geometry Vera stands for. And I love them too, as I screwed up screws in my life and it saved my arse. Mm, lovely. I'd love to see stitched sizes on the holders. But I guess you'll mix and match your bits anyway. Yeah, this bit holder is nothing fancy, but I'm glad they've added the slim and simple bit holder that is a few centimeters longer as usual, rather than getting a chunky wrap adapter that might get in the way or has not enough reach. I still don't get why the bit adapter in my Zyklop ratchet set so frustrating to use. You honestly have to pull the sleeve to be able to remove it or insert the bit. It still boggles my mind. Thus, the simple retaining clip can be a thing of beauty. Finally, we can talk about the star of this set, uh, Vera's 8001A Zyklop Mini 1-bit ratchet. Shiny. It sounds very pleasing, with a satisfying switch. I'm not sure if their thumb-action-fast spinnabajig works as well as advertised, Things work differently while under load, so maybe it works better as shown in the real world scenario. At least, I have fun playing with it. Who needs a fidget toy if you own a Zyklop Mini? I really do like everything about this tool. It is nicely finished, nicely engraved, proportion-wise very beautiful, and it seems to work just as pleasing as a tool. I'm glad to own this beauty of a bit ratchet made by Philo to compare it to. The Vera one slimmer and more compact, but the real question is, how do they perform in comparison? And as always, screw the tooth count. Vera's claimed 6 degrees isn't nearly reached in the real world scenario.
The play within all parts is the deciding factor when the spring engages. 6 degrees is simply the value of 360 degrees divided by the tooth count and then used as marketing BS. I'd say both ratchets behave and feel very similar. The only reason I move fast on the right is the louder and more pronounced clicking sound when the spring engages. In this case I like the size and slanted style of the feeler ratchet more. It's more comfortable. But the Vera is slimmer with a straight handle, so it has its own advantages. And after all, what's my verdict? Well, I do like the organization of chosen bits. The bit ratchet is really nice, although I doubt the usefulness of their quick ratcheting feature. The length of the bit holder is well chosen as this feels like a really useful screwdriver. And the rest of the included tools feel useful and very compact. But I'm missing a T-handle as I don't trust the strength of this ratchet. I know the tire jack is meant for this purpose, but a steel bar of some kind would be a really nice to have. All in all, a great tool set as a base to start from for any cyclist out there. And that wraps it up for today. <laughs> yeah, so if you found any stains on the product, it's just because I've spilled my coffee beforehand. And if you'd like to buy me a new one, well, there's a link down below. Are you honestly still there?